All right, guys, we're back at the old 50s dump, and looks like other people have been uh, digging here in the past. Uh, the beavers have pretty much taken down all the poplars. It's much more open in here. Only the Manitoba maples are standing now, but uh, yeah. Well, this is good. It's been all dug up. Uh, this is kind of a cool find. I think it's a water, a water jug or oil jug. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm going to skim around on the surface because I found coins. I found coins on the surface after it's been dug and then the weather rains gets rained on it. You can always find stuff on the surface. So uh, I think we so far got a, uh, where is it? We got one of these Noxemas. Lid's all rusty. But uh, yeah, we're hoping for some, uh, this, is a, this is a tough place. It's a very tough place to find intact bottles. But we'll hope for, this is late 50s, early 60s, so we'll hope for some ACLs and that sort of thing. One thing you can be sure of in this dump is finding marbles. And I was digging out a face and we got we got one already. I think I've dug I've dug a few of these out of this dump before. These uh, blue swirly ones. Very cool. I'm sure there'll be more to go, but uh, yeah, as far as bottles go, I mean they burn this dump pretty completely. But uh, occasionally you'll get a large something they dumped in and protected some things below. So I'm just gonna dig out a trench here and then start working working on this area. And hopefully something comes out. Uh, Cause right in this spot, a few years ago, we pulled out uh, a couple of ACLs that were intact. So here's hoping. Well, the reason I picked this spot today was it was a bit of, of a humpy spot here. And uh, that wood we dug out, I'm almost thinking it's a, it was an entire wooden boat that was dumped here. But it's all under here and uh, Sure enough, under the wood. <laughs> Here you go, Frank, your favorite. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so there's a good chance for some intact bottles under that wood. Might have been, uh, well, if this wood didn't get burned, obviously, whatever's under it sure didn't. Well, we're getting into it. And this is what the face of the dump looks like. It's not that deep, that's for sure. But uh, all this, there's so much metal stuff. We're not having to dig out much volume because all the metal is just, the tin cans are just collapsing into, into just pieces. So there's probably only like maybe half of the volume of what's actually here. But uh, yeah, everything is, unfortunately we're in a pocket of too much too much rusty cans, none of bottles, but hopefully that'll change. All right, guys, we got a coin in the hole. We got a coin. There she is. Not sure what it's gonna be. It's a small scent. I don't know if we can even get an ID on it. Oh, she's kind of crusty there. I think it's a leaf. I think it's a leaf penny, but uh, let's see if we can clean it up a bit and uh, and get a get a positive ID. Well, it's not in overly bad shape. We got ourselves young Lizzie, and it's a uh, 1955. Very cool. Let's. Uh, that would be awesome if we could uh, if we could find some silver. I've never found silver in a dump before, so that would be sweet. Wow, some of the spots in here we have a huge, huge <laughs> void. That metal bucket there, pretty much, and a lot of that was hollow. But I pulled out in there, it kind of looked old, but uh, it's very weird. I was looking for the mold line, and it's there. It appears to be machine made, but uh, I don't know. I think they had these, I think these bottles existed later, but they had port in them. Port, uh, I, I think even to today, port bottles have, uh, have cork tops on them, so I don't know. Nothing really special, but so, I don't know. 
Maybe I'll just leave it here for somebody else. So I have too many, too many bottles and just don't have room for everything. So like I said, I have to cut it off at some point. Neil is a res very resourceful. Um, he actually found the shovel and he found his own stick to uh, stuff into the uh, stuff into the handle and uh, <laughs> now he's got a shovel we only brought one shovel oh oops <laughs> guess you'll have to find a stronger uh, stronger branch just uh, good luck getting that out of the uh, socket now <laughs> well looky here looky here <laughs> this thing is plastic Oh, it came out looking like uh, perfectly intact. Pew pew! Pew pew! Oh, crazy stuff. Oh, I wish it was a, wish it was the metal ones, but oh well. Alright, we're going to move over to a little area. I collapsed a bunch of the sides, so we'll come to this later. Unfortunately, we weren't coming across much of anything good here anymore, so I was hoping for an ACL or two, but Nothing there. We got uh, Neil's gathered up uh, collection of cobalt. Um, we got the gun. Cops called and mm, probably not. <laughs> we got that crown jar. I don't. I'm not particular about that one. So it can stay for somebody else to keep. Got some scrap. A couple lipstick tubes. A very busted up horse. Where's the clown? Oh yes, Neil found this cool clown thingy and I think it seems to be intact so very neat uh, a couple <laughs> modern beer cans for deposit money but yeah we got a bit of scrap we got some copper wire here some aluminum a fork an old fork yeah lots of interesting stuff Well, Neil's digging on the surface of, in that spot. There's so much glass. And he just found uh, this looks like a hair barrette. Probably brass, but uh, it's kind of a cool butterfly. I think it had a stone, a stone at one time in it. And we also got this mound here, which is a little easier to dig than uh, dig into a hole and cast it out. So, uh, and plus he was also digging uh, this road they built right through the middle of the dump. There's a lot of the stuff they cast onto the sides, so all along the side there's stuff on the surface you can find too. But uh, yeah, this was, I think I found a few coins a couple of years ago on the other side there, plus a pocket watch. So it's not a bad spot. Well, Neil just pulled this, uh, some sort of compact. It's got kind of a nice design, but it looks like it had something some other surface plating that's or maybe something got burned onto it but it's kind of cool it's got a opens and it's got a little thing here which that actually opens i don't know if there was a mirror in there before or not but uh it's kind of cool and then we got ourselves wow looks like this uh, <laughs> The doll is taking a, a bow, but uh, the head is, uh, wow. <laughs> and even the hands are kind of backwards, so yeah, this thing is, uh, even without the head, this thing is pretty darn, uh, pretty darn creepy. <laughs> yeah.